All right, so some big gaming news, actually. Uh, I know I don't talk about games much on here, but this is DC-related. All right, Rocksteady, who has made the Arkham games, the uh, games that I consider some of the greatest superhero video games ever made. And, you know, I've played the Spider-Man games, but, like, the Batman Arkham games revolutionized the way superhero games are. In fact, the gameplay was so good in the Arkham games that a lot of other games started to use it, like Mad Max and even the new Spider-Man game are essentially mimicking what Rocksteady did with the Arkham games. But for a long time, I've been wanting something else other than Batman. You know, I've been wanting Rocksteady to make another superhero game with anybody else in the DC Universe other than Batman. That has been like my dream for like the last five years, okay? It's just like that has been the only game I've wanted for a while now. Hey, you know, I played God of War. God of War was great, but another superhero from Rocksteady would be fucking amazing. And it turns out that they might, in fact, be working on that very thing. Now, this ain't official official yet, but it's been rumored for a long time. And now there's this anonymous user on 4chan that has given out details for the next Rocksteady game. Now, this is nowhere near confirmed, but it matches prior rumors that happened like over a year ago about this game that Rocksteady was working on and this just confirms it even more and it even gives like very convincing details right so I'll just read the 4chan original post about Rocksteady's new game and he puts a bunch of you know bullet points so I'll just read them off the Superman game is incoming it's gonna be made by Rocksteady it's gonna be on the Unreal 4 engine so, you know, that means that it's probably going to be on PlayStation 4, probably at the end of this year or next year. Big open world metropolis, about three times the size of Arkham Knight, with a lot more buildings. That's insane. I mean, if you played the Arkham Knight games, you know the level of detail that was put into the Gotham City area, you know? And to me, it really did feel small. But it was just so detailed, I didn't mind it being a little smaller. Especially when you have games like Mad Max, which is just a huge open world that is a little bit too big. But then you have Arkham Knight, and it feels like it can be a little bit bigger, but it's a it's actually a perfect size because of the level of detail it's put in. But if they're going to make Metropolis three times the size of Arkham Knight, that blows my mind. <laughs> Almost that blows my mind. Because if they could put that much detail into a Superman game at that scale, this is going to be incredible. This is going to be fucking incredible. And I'm sure it's not even going to feel that big because you have Superman's powers, right? You're going to be flying across the city at the speed of a bullet. I'm sure Superman's going to be moving really fast through this world. So you're going to be able to see the whole Metropolis City. And I wonder if we'll go to other places too, but you know. Anyway, on to the rest of the 4chan post. You can't play as Clark Kent. Uh, that's sad, but kind of makes sense. I can imagine them using Clark Kent in the cutscenes and then, you know, you get to be... Superman for the whole game, just like the Arkham games. You never really get to be Bruce Wayne. You see him in cutscenes, but you're playing the whole game as Batman. So they're just staying in line with what they've already established. So Rocksteady is just doing what they know, and they they should. They're really good at what they do. The next big detail, the main villain is Brainiac. Uh, holy shit. Makes perfect sense. He was just in the Injustice game. He was really well-received in the Injustice game. And he's one of Superman's best villains, and he matches Superman's power levels almost. You know, he has a huge robot alien army that Superman could just go to town on. You know, he could just, you know, not hold back at all, and it's going to really help the gameplay, right? It's going to be awesome to play as. Next detail, nerfed Superman, the animated series levels. And now, I don't think the animated series is that nerfed, <laughs> you know, like Superman's still hella strong. Um, yeah, he's a little weaker. He's not as, like, strong as, like, he's, you know, ever been. They clearly tried to weaken him a little bit to make the show better, and it worked. The Superman the Animated Series is amazing, but it's harder for, like, Superman to lift, like, a full skyscraper or something like that with ease, you know? And it's kind of what they did in Man of Steel. It's what Zack Snyder wanted to do. He wanted to make Superman, he wanted to make Superman's power levels a little lower, so it wasn't too ridiculous, but, you know, still amazing things happen in that movie, like, Buildings toppling over, which is the next detail. Semi-destructible environments. Think Arkham Knight. No buildings are falling over. Obviously, the guy's talking about Man of Steel in that one. But, you know, that makes sense. I imagine you're going to be going through windows. I imagine you'll scrape the sides of buildings. Like, he was dragging Zod's face across a building. You know, like, I imagine it's going to be, like, that type of destructible. 
But no, you're not going to be like leveling buildings because because like how would the game continue, right? If you just leveled every building, every fight, like how could the game go on? So obviously that makes sense. And Arkham Knight has some cool ass destruction. Like you can go through corners of buildings with your Batmobile, like just plow right through a fucking corner. You know, you couldn't go through the whole building, but you can go through parts of the building. So I really love that about Arkham Knight. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what kind of destructible environments they have in this new Superman game. Combat system, next uh, bullet point. Combat system integrates the flying, kind of like Dragon Ball Z. You can punch someone, then zoom towards them and repeat. I imagine you're going to be punching a lot of Brainiac robots into the air and, you know, fucking them up and shit. That'd be awesome. And you're going to be flying. So, I'm like, they're nerfing Superman, but they're not taking away his powers. You know, he's going to have heat vision. He's going to have ice breath. He's going to have his flying. You know, he's going to be super strong. I mean, it's just his power levels are coming down. They're not getting rev powers. Next big detail is probably the most important one. Set within the Arkhamverse. So, it's going to be taking place in the same universe that the Batman games are. Which means we might even get a tie-in to Batman. You know, he might even talk to Bruce at some point. And the last uh, bullet point, tons of Easter eggs to Superman's lore and some to the events that took place in Batman Arkham franchise. And I expect tons of Easter eggs because after playing the Arkham games, there's a shit ton of Batman Easter eggs. Just a shit ton. I, I, and I 100 percented those games on PS3. You know, I collected all the collectibles. You know, I beat the game on the hardest difficulty and stuff like I played the shit out of those games. You know, I platinumed all those games. And I'm trying to platinum them again. And I'm trying to get the platinums again <laughs> on the PS4 versions of the games. Except for Arkham Knight. I already have that platinum. I already have that one. Because I really enjoyed that game. Really enjoyed it. And yes, I expect it to take place in the Arkham verse. Because why not, right? If you've built all this shit in the Arkham games, why not carry some of it over? Maybe have a few cameos and stuff. But this is another big detail this guy posts, and it's probably the you know, the most interesting thing, and that's Rocksteady and WB Montreal are also working on a joint multiplayer game, hence the multiplayer hirings on Rocksteady's site. This is for a planned Justice League game down the road. They had to nail Superman first. Announcements should be incoming about a couple weeks before E3. One of those see more slash gameplay at E3 type of reveals. So according to this anonymous user on 4chan, we are going to get a teaser of a Justice League game with possible footage at E3. We're definitely going to get gameplay footage of the Superman game at E3 probably. But, you know, I'd be shocked to tell if they show a Justice League game. You know, I think everyone's going to be blown away by a Superman game right now. I think you just focus all your attention on selling that game. Don't even worry about showing Justice League right now. You don't even need to show it right now. But if Rocksteady is making a Justice League game, you know it's going to be fucking great. You know Green Lantern's going to be there. You know Wonder Woman's going to be there. Superman, Batman, maybe Hawkman, maybe Martian Manhunter. You know, who knows what the last member is going to be? Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman for sure. Who knows who else they're going to get? It could be a bunch of fucking characters. And making it multiplayer seems really interesting. But I'm definitely looking forward to E3 this year. I was already getting a little hyped earlier. But, like, now I'm getting super fucking pumped. I can't wait for E3 now. I'm definitely going to have to watch it that day and, and react to the possible Superman trailer. You know, this is going to be amazing. They're making a Superman game right now. So, you know, by E3 this year, we'll know if this anonymous user on 4chan was correct. And he also had a picture of Superman. Uh, I don't know where this picture came from. I think this is an early look at what the Superman from the Rocksteady game is going to look like. And I don't know if he's recycling this picture or if this is a new picture he has. But I'm thinking this is like a picture from uh, like last year when these rumors first started because they had some leaked footage from the game already back then. If this is like an actual official picture this guy got his hands on, that's amazing. And uh, I can't wait to see more, you know. I can't wait to see how the combat works. Can't wait to see how he flies. And I just can't wait for the game. Uh, super excited for E3 now. But anyway, that's it for now. Hope everyone's having a great day. We have great DC games on the horizon. You know, they're coming. And the Spider-Man game is going to be good this year, but goddamn, that Superman game, if that happens and Rocksteady makes it, it's going to be amazing. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you all in the next one.